25. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Starliner. Godspeed, Butch and Sonny. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition and liftoff of Starliner and Atlas V, carrying two American heroes, drawing a line to the stars for all of us. Commander Butch Wilmer there calling down to Mission Control here in Houston that the spacecraft has begun rolling into the right attitude for its ascent. The guidance, navigation, and control officer here in the room seeing good data on that. Starfleet passing through Max Q or the uh, point of maximum dynamic, dynamic pressure where the forces of air friction are highest, which in Sunny will shortly be passing through Mach 1, where the speed is sound. Got a good throttle up. Starliner and Atlas. Looking good with speeds and attitude increasing as expected. Coming up in less than 20 seconds, the solid rocket boosters will run out of fuel and burn out. Good SRB burnout. Good SRB. Now that the fuel in the solid rocket boosters has been depleted, the Atlas main booster stage will be continuing its burn for about the next three minutes. Good handle. Good handle. That, that call, good handle, from Capcom Joshua Kutrick, indicating that the crew now has the ability to initiate an abort manually if needed. All looking good so far. Now two minutes into uh, Starliner's flight and coming up on the solid rocket booster jettison at the two minute and 40 second mark. Staging. Here in the ground. ECAL's open. You have sublimator rock. ECAL sub ECAL. Right at. Team on the ground reporting that they saw, they saw the ascent cover on top of Starliner that's been protecting the, star, the spacecraft's docking system through its climate orbit. All continuing to perform well almost seven minutes into today's flight.